Hello, welcome back, Tana. Hi, you remember me? Yes, of course. From Jersey, right? Yeah, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I actually met a guy off your live. Okay, we need the details. What happened? Super cute, very handsome. Um, as he was talking, though, I don't think we. I saw some red flags. <laughs> I saw some red flags, and then I was. I told my friend about it. I hope he's not watching. <laughs> okay we're not we're not calling him out or shouting him out so we're not saying his name okay and also but ultimately he's actually stopped texting me and we follow each other on instagram and he posted a girl so that was that wait you followed him on instagram what happened he posted a girl so that was that okay what was the red flag before he posted the girl um, so I hope he's not watching, but um be vague about it. We're not saying his name at all. We never I don't know who it is. Okay. He was saying to me that basically he doesn't see his daughter as often and I he was getting into like he was just bl blaming the mom. Okay. Why he doesn't see her as often. You know, me as a mother myself, I just don't really kinda don't respect that. So yeah okay all right so it was yeah like the children thing maybe him not seeing his children was kind of a red flag for you yeah i just don't really respect it and then he posted up a girl i'm assuming that was his girlfriend possibly very beautiful very beautiful but okay yeah. okay but it gave me hope it gave me that little encounter gave me hope for the future actually the guy that i grew up with in church he's my ex and we grew up together in church um, oh, yeah good. so i don't know i told you i was in the military so i was away from home when i came back two years ago i had my daughter had a really complicated pregnancy so i was out of church for a whole year so mm -hmm. i came back 2024 and back into church when i went back he's seen his mom on new year's he's my ex from when i was 15 guys we were kids <laughs> his mom was like hi Shantan. i was like hi she was like have you seen my son go say hi go say hi so Ooh, if mama's pushing it then you know she like girl make that happen. Go say hi. <laughs> but i ended up saying hi and uh, he actually texted me that night that i said hi he was just like he was like oh great to see you and the family Hope you're doing well and i was like Oh, uh, you know, so we've been catching up. We've seen each other here and there. We keep in touch. And um, uh, we actually, we're going to see each other again on Sunday after church. Now, what I don't like about him. So I'm coming back into church. And he's leaving. And I'm just like. He's not going to church anymore? No, not as often. Then he's just because we grew up in church. We were church kids, so he just he feels like he feels like he was forced as a kid. He doesn't want to go. No, I was just like, dang. So that's the only thing right now is he doesn't want to go to church. That you see, that's the red flag. So um, you know, it's my daughter. We grew up together. So normally, if I don't know you, I would never, you know, yeah. be my kid. But my daughter, she comes to church with me. So he knows my daughter, like he loves her, you know? Mm -hmm. And so what's the deal? Are you guys going on a date this week? Is that what's happening? Did he schedule and plan a date? Like, hey, it was nice to see you, Tana. Um, this Sunday we're going out. I made reservations or I don't know, we're going for lunch or brunch. What's the vibe? I was listening to you say that to that other woman about, you know, setting your standard. And I didn't really I, now that what as you were saying that I, I thought about it. And I was like, I need to set my standard as well because he was just like, let's get a bite to eat, you know. So he's been really busy. He's studying to be a software engineer and he's an electrician. So like he's super. He's always on his computer. And whenever like we do go out to eat or whatever, mm -hmm. um, it'll be like fast. Like last time we got tacos, but he only got me something. He didn't get anything. He was just on his computer. And then he like took one of my tacos and that was it, you know? So that's not really. You're not really vibing and connecting then. You're not really. You're kissing. <laughs> We're like. I'm vibing and connecting. A real vibe and connection. Not just kidding. Yeah. Not just kidding. I hope that's where it stops you. 
No, it is. It is. It is. But I'm just, I don't know. I feel like I need some, I feel like my, I, I want to get back into dating. Well, how did you show up to tacos? I, after church. And I was just okay. in my church outfit. And did you have your daughter with you as well? No. Okay. okay. So now you guys, he said, let's get some lunch. Is he going to be working when you guys go out for lunch or is this a date? I don't know. I don't think so. It feels like he's making it super casual or super casual because you guys have history together. Yeah. It doesn't feel like he's taking it serious because you guys have history. So it's like, oh, since I known her, you know, we were high school sweethearts. I don't really have to do the most because she knows my mom already. I know her. His guard is kind of down. Like, yeah, it feels like no effort. Yeah. And again, that doesn't mean five star restaurant, but some type of effort, you know? Yeah. And he did say something that kind of hurt my feelings. He said that he feels I didn't even say anything back. Actually, he said he feels like I don't like him. I just like the idea of him. Yeah, because uh, and I asked like uh, actually I asked what do you mean by that and he was just like um, he feels like I just like the idea of us being together because he feels like it would, it would be a perfect match. That's what he did. and he said I don't think he I, he like he said he doesn't think I like him for him. I just he feels like I like him because he feels like we just would fit, you know. Is that how you feel or is that how he feels? He said that's how he feels, but I didn't, I, I was just like, okay, but um, I I was thinking about it and I don't, I I don't feel like that. I mean, I would never date somebody just for aesthetics, you know what I mean? Or yeah, I but not date. just aesthetics, like he has a good job. It sounds like he sounds good on paper. Is he not, um, Tana? He is, but I mean, most guys, do you have a vibe and connection with him outside of great job you know his mom and all of the things is there a genuine connection between you two yeah um i think so but right now I, and i told him this so i was like right now i feel like we're surface i felt like we were surface level like i i thought we were just friends so i was treating him like a friend you know what i mean and i was telling him about you know potential guys that i might be interested in. and my bad, like he didn't like that. You know what I mean? So it was giving me the vibe like he wanted me to chase him. And you know, I'm, I'm not doing that. It was just like, you're not putting in effort or whatever. You don't want to be my friend. So here's the thing. I know you guys dated as high school sweethearts. How old are you now? How old are you? With a kid. Yeah, 26 with a kid. You guys are completely different people. You've been through life experience and all of the things. So at this stage, you guys would have to literally get to know each other all over again, you know? And it sounds like you went in with the mindset like, oh, okay, well, this is just gonna be the bro. I'm yeah. gonna talk to him like- And then he kissed me surprisingly. Like I was talking, like I'm talking to you right now. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, sorry, someone was calling me. You started it off like, like this is my bro kind of relationship between you and him versus like, I'm trying to get to know him on a more like, you know, romantic tip. So you spoke to him about the guys you were dating or how you felt about the guys or what they were doing kind of thing? I was, yeah. yeah. I was talking to him like a friend and yeah, he just didn't like it. Then he kissed me, but then it's um, no real effort in you know, trying to date me. It just feels like y'all dating just to date. Y'all going out with each other just to just go just out. Play. Yeah, but there's no connection. Yeah. Was there any connection when y'all, you know, my mama, mama did, was there a vibe there? Yeah, Um. so we sat in, the, in his car and we literally spoke for five hours straight. Um, yeah, we spoke for five hours straight and he was, he was letting me listen to, he's a producer as well on the side. So he was letting me listen to all his music and, um, he also skates. So we ended up, we, he actually took me skating that night. <clears throat> so yeah, it was, it was nice. Um, I laughed a lot. I smiled a lot. So saying five hours in a car, maybe versus a date, you know? Yeah, it was, it, yeah, true. It just sounds like, I don't know. It just sounds like you guys are old friends who are getting back together. All right, why not? We're here. Let's just hang out. 
when we both don't have anyone to date or fill up our time, let's go yeah. out together because it's yeah. just safe to do so. It's just safe. Mm -hmm. It's just a safe option. That's what it feels like. I don't really think about him that much or anything. I don't think I'm, I'm not like, you know, I don't, I'm talking about him, but I don't really, it's like on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, like you said, it's just, he's just there. Like if I, if I'm back in the city or I'm at church or I see his parents, I'll like text him or he'll text me, check on me. And that's that type of thing. I do want to like get back out there and fully date. I do want to fully date. Cause I, I think I'm ready, you know? Yeah. Um, but I thought you had options. You were talking to him about other guys you were dating. What's going on with that? So I was dating this other guy and I thought he's good, but he's in the military. I was in the military and he's moved away. He got stationed in Georgia. We still text and everything, but I don't think it's... Did um, you see the other girl who just came up here before the other girl? No. Who asked about... She's in Korea right now, and she asked me about dating military. So you know, <laughs> I, I, obviously, I think he's a, I think he's a good catch. I think he's probably a unicorn. He's older. He's thirty six. He's a good dad. Um, a unicorn, and you let him go, and y'all not, you not going to see him this weekend? A unicorn? No. I did see him. I I went to go see him in Georgia, but. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like me being- Wait, wait, wait. You went to see him in Georgia and what happened when you went to Georgia? It was great. It was great. Um, he, he was so nice. He sent flowers to my house here in Jersey. It was really nice. Super sweet. He took me on multiple dates. But what's like, the but? Like, Tana, you have to be honest. You're not telling me. You're like, chopping up the story you have to tell me what it is what is it we got to get to the root of it what is the, going on the butt is mm -hmm. i i don't i don't think he's interested well i don't know i don't think he's interested at all well not i don't think he's interested yeah mm -hmm. because because um he did that but i just think that's just his character like to be nice is what you're saying yeah i think that's just him but it also sounds like even with your high school sweetheart, it almost sounds like this is a pattern. Like you're meeting great guys, but there's no vibe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like you're meeting great guys who have jobs, who are doing what they need to do, but there's no connection. Yeah. I don't know. There's just something getting lost in translation. What do you think it is? I honestly think it's probably me because I would like leave guys on delivered if they text me and I just, I'll just go ghost for days. And are you doing that to test them? No, honestly, no, I'm not. I don't play games. I don't play mind games. So why I, leave them? If they say good morning, Tanya, or how's your day, Tana? Why leave it for days if you're not playing games, if you're serious about dating? Because I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. What was the first thought when I asked you that question? What did you think before you thought, I don't know? I thought about my daughter. Yeah. So that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. I thought about, I just, I, anytime I date a guy, I just think about mm -hmm. how would you be with my daughter? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I had a bad stepdad. And I just don't want that for her, if that makes sense. Yeah. So I don't know if I am being nitpicking, and I that's a red flag, that's a red flag, that's a red flag. Yeah. And because of my situation. Yeah. But I just don't want her to have any, I don't want her to have any trauma. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because of, because of the guy that I chose, or I don't, I don't want to make any mistakes mm -hmm. with her childhood mm -hmm. because I didn't have a good childhood and I ultimately mm -hmm. ended up raising myself and I just don't want that for her.
Right you know so. what I mean? Yes, right so, so. Yeah, right so, so any man that I talk to, text, whatever, I think about her to the T, you know what I mean? I think about, would you be like a stepdad? How are you with your kids? I watched my mom like get treated badly by men and I feel like it shaped how I thought about myself in my younger, like when I was younger from like 19 to 23, I had really low self-esteem mm -hmm. and because of that, it led me in some, and my last relationship was really bad. And I feel like it was because of my childhood. I feel like I always looked up to my real dad as a king. I always thought he was just amazing. I thought I, he was just the best dad. You know, I, he took care of me. He raised me. Um, he was a single dad. He raised me and everything. But now that I'm older, my dad passed away. But now that I'm older and I look back on who he was, Mm -hmm. um as a man he was he was not I don't want to say that I don't feel like he was the best man but he was just a great dad to me but to mm -hmm. other women yeah it just wasn't he wasn't good to women but he was good to me as his yeah. daughter I feel like having my daughter changed my mindset because I, I wanted a man like my dad, but then I, I really thought about it. Like, that's my dad. If I, you know, he wasn't my, my man, he was my father. So I can't have a man like my dad, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because he wouldn't be a good partner to me. Mm. So that mindset ended up me meeting my daughter's dad mm -hmm. because he was like my dad. The relationship went bad. And I feel like what well, having my daughter, like it really opened my eyes to a lot. What I am doing, still doing, it's currently seventh month in therapy. And mm -hmm. uh, so now I'm just like, I'm just super cautious in dating. So, Absolutely. And have you, were you able to talk to your therapist about this side of, you know, dating? Like, you know, I'm just super cautious because of my upbringing, maybe because of things that happened to me, I am being super careful. And maybe sometimes I do self-sabotage in the beginning in relationships or in the dating process. Have you spoke to your therapist about that? Um, I haven't really spoken to her much about dating. No, just about family and stuff. Yeah, and how yeah. to heal and like healing my inner child because i feel like that's where it starts like healing your inner child working on yourself absolutely absolutely but i think you should open up that part yeah of your life to your therapist mm -hmm. i think you should absolutely okay. and i also want you to keep in mind yes you're always keeping in mind would this person be a great dad but i also just want you to date first just go on the first date say what's your favorite color is the sky blue or purple? What's the last book you read? I don't want you to be down the aisle on the first date. Yeah, like don't plan out my entire life with them, right? Because no, that's no. what I do. <laughs> Absolutely, no, no. And that's why you're probably not responding and now they're yeah. like, oh. yes, give it time is what I'm saying. Give okay. it time. Get to know them a little bit. See how they move, how they respond um, to the waiter, how they interact with other children how they talk to their mom or their father. Just look at other things. You can just observe them in other ways before you decide to cut them off. Does that make sense? Yes. Oh, Tana, I almost cried. Thank you for coming up. And uh, I hope this wasn't like sad or anything. I wasn't trying to trauma dump or anything. Like, no, you know, no, I no. just wanted to no. give you more background because I felt like I was, I wasn't giving you the full story. So I was just like, let me just say everything. Absolutely. And that's why I was like, let me just dig a little bit deeper because I feel like you weren't saying it, but I'm happy you did. And again, I want you to go to your therapist and talk about exactly what you spoke yeah. about on this slide so she can help you through that. Okay. Hey, thanks, Ash. You're welcome, gorgeous. Come back and keep me updated. Okay. 
I will. Thank you. Right, Bye-bye. What's a moment? So what's a moment? Thank you, Tana, for sharing. Thank you for coming up. Thank you for all the ladies and gentlemen who courageously come up here and share their stories. Thank you so much. It is so helpful to everyone. Tana, you don't know how many Tanas on this live are going through exactly what you're going through right now who may need it to hear that. So I hope you guys all enjoy this live.